Oh, wow. It's so hot. It's still so hot here. I hate it. This undisclosed location is really starting to bug me. It's so hot this, here. This undisclosed location, I hate it. I hate Oops. it. I don't want to deal with it anymore. The bugs are atrocious. Yeah. And so are the fish? Or sharks? Maybe. Jumping, flashing fish? I don't know. I hope not, but uh, <laughs> hello, 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 hi, and uh, hi to the banker, too, oh my gosh, whatever, uh, and welcome to The Cup, the current name podcast, where we put the real in tea in reality, and you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy, say something gay, gay, I, today I'm just drinking water, because hydration is of the essence of all. That's all. Well, hello and hi. I am Wanda, your resident evil diva. I'm here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea because you know I love me some tea. Purr. And if you have some tea, you know what to do. Hit me up. I'm not currently drinking tea because, you know, I'm not. But I am drinking Orange Sunkiss. Not sponsored, but should be as much as exactly. I drink them. So we should do that. But, um, if I was drinking, if I was drinking tea, I would be drinking that. Uh huh, uh huh. And I'm full of cup, and I'm full of cup, and I'm full of cup. Beer, 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 beer. I'm not at home, so therefore I don't have my light show. But we do have a kind of cup mugs, and you can get your cup mug or any of our cup merch at lamajeescreations.etsy.com. The link will be in the description below, and we do ship domestically here in the U.S. and in Canada and in Mexico for sure. Internationally, we're working on it. But yep. get your cup merch if you can. Period. Per. Per. So I remember when Kim Matina came on our channel, Lana, <laughs> and she said, Oh, don't worry, the drama is going to continue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I know what she was talking about now. Mm -hmm. I think she was right. I think I she, think she might right. have been a little right. A she little was bit. right. A and, bit. But, mm -hmm. and Miranda did the same thing when she was oh, here. Oh, good. She was like, good. just make sure you say, pay attention because the drama will ensue. And I was like, oh. I'm I not even going to lie to y'all. I loved this episode. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. I me too. loved this episode. And we're going to talk about it. Before we do, though, make sure to subscribe if you've not already, because we're here almost all the time giving you Almost All Things Reality TV. We got three other channels as well with Almost All Things Drag, Almost All Things Eurovision Song Contest, and Almost All Things Wrestling Recap. So make sure to go check that out as well. Uh, and if you want to join our membership channel uh, for exclusive content and early access, go hit the join button over on our main channel or head over to Patreon. Same content, different platform. All those links are down in the description below. So uh, we are now officially, apparently, halfway through the uh game even though it is episode seven. Oh. So yeah. they we were celebrating. Well we uh, did have a nobody leave last week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um but yeah so the banker uh gives them a fireworks display. Sure. 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 Um, we still have the Night Owls Alliance. It's really, honestly, two sides of the island at this point. Absolutely. Um, you've got you've got Amy, Stephanie, Nick, and Dawson on one side, and you've got uh, Alyssa, Aaron, and Boston Rob over on the other. Um, we get a lot of backstory in this episode. We get uh, Stephanie's talking about her childhood, and we get Jordan's talking about um her father being laid off and her mom getting diagnosed with cancer and i was like seven episodes in you are finally gonna give jordan a moment i was like uh -uh. i said uh-oh is jordan going home i that's what i said so. i was like oh god is jordan going home because we're getting backstory hmm. no no that didn't happen but i was like thank goodness uh, that we got some Jordan backstory. And then we heard Alyssa saying that if she had a uh, 
voodoo doll of Stephanie, she would stab it. Several times. She hates her. I can't stand her. I want her gone. And if I had a voodoo doll, I would stab it several times. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, she tells Boston Rob that her allegiance to uh, Aaron might have changed. Mm-hmm. Um, and set up this whole this whole lie to throw Aaron under the bus, even though Aaron has been the person that has been most aligned with Alyssa the entire game. Mm-hmm. Rob only tolerates her because Aaron likes her. And her plan to try to get Rob to fully trust her and not Aaron mm -hmm. was um just lying to Rob. And then Aaron said that he doesn't fully trust you. And so and then go ahead. Then he pulls he pulls Aaron into the conversation to talk about loyalty. I'm like, all right, Rob. And he like Asking Aaron's like, no, we're good. I'm just like, <clears throat> and Rob is like, absolutely, of course we're good. And pretty much like knows Alyssa's a lie. He was like, Alyssa's a liar. And she's a bad one at that. I'm trying to come up with some cockamamie stuff. I don't believe what she says, so whatever. I will say in this episode, I was tolerating Boston Rob a whole lot more than before. It seems like all of a sudden he said, you know, the people that I have been working with, I don't know that these are the right people I need to be working with. Hmm. And suddenly went, I think Stephanie's smart. I think she's a basic player, though. Absolutely. And you know so what? I'm gonna... He wasn't wrong. <clears throat> no, I, I don't that, think he was. That was um, my whole thing. Because a lot of these players are very tunnel vision players. They see they sight they get their sight set on one thing, and that's all they focus on. They don't look at the bigger picture around. Like they're not taking two steps ahead. They're like zero in. And you'll see in this episode, it was car blanche. Just that it was very much. This is my target. This is my target. I don't care. I'm not moving. I'm not shifting. This is my target, regardless of what happens. That is my target from both sides of the spectrum. I was like, y'all both are just doing the exact same thing. And Rob was trying to give Stephanie some helpful tips because honestly, getting Jordan out at this point probably would have been smarter because Alyssa is always going to be the target. But Jordan is somebody who nobody would think about because Jordan is just and Jordan is also working with Stephanie, which is something that Bob Boston Rob doesn't really know all that yes, much about. Absolutely. So, like, I definitely understand. I understand Rob being like, "You need to take out the competition threats," mm -hmm. but in Alyssa's mind, she's looking at who is the most dangerous to her game at this point. And that mind. person, in Stephanie's mind, mm -hmm. and in her mind, that person is absolutely Alyssa. Absolutely, Alyssa. I would. I would honestly, a hundred percent, agree with that. Absolutely. I would 100%. My thing is this. For Steph, like you said, Rob doesn't know how uh -huh. close Stephanie and Jordan are. So his thing is like you need to take out the people that could, that nobody's looking at, which makes sense. But for somebody playing their own game, which Stephanie is doing, Stephanie is like, yeah, it'll be cool to get to the end with, you know, not with somebody who just floating on by. Yeah. But the person who is Actively coming for me. Yeah. Actively saying my name. I need to get them out. And Alyssa and, and Stephanie both were right in there wanting to get each other out. It would be better for their game. It's yeah. just how who was going to bring it to a head first and how was it going yeah. to play out. And so I, I was very excited about this episode for that reason. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we go to the excursion and we're go we're headed over to some paddleboard rentals. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. We're once again in pairs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, teams will have to paddle out to unmarked chests. They have to bring one back um, and then check uh, the value of the cases inside. 
It's always and, it's also a key involved. <laughs> yes. So if you get the key, you can either keep the cases or use it to open a golden safe. Which we found out later because uh, Amy and Stephanie are the ones that get the key. Um, so they find out that if they open the safe, they will automatically be in the bottom two. But the case is worth five million dollars. I would have took it too. <laughs> I would have took it too. Because I like at this point, I want to play the banker. I want to play deal or no deal. Sure. I want to be able to decide what's gonna. I don't want. Like, especially for um, if I was Stephanie and Amy, uh-huh. I know where I am in the pecking order. And I know if I yeah. don't pick or get picked, I'm getting picked to go home if that person wins. And, and yeah. so I'm like, yeah, I think I would want to. I would go for it and just like, just give me my chance with the banker at this point. I will say my favorite part of the episode is while they're all doing their paddle, paddle boarding, of which, uh, was it Nick or Dawson was really bad? I couldn't remember. It was one. Nick and Rob. <laughs> yeah, they were both just really bad. Um, I love, Joe turns to Ben and goes, how many chicken nuggets do you think you could eat in an hour? Ben is like, hmm, was, was something to drink? Probably 46, 45. Yeah. Yeah. Lana, mm-hmm. how many chicken nuggets do you think you could eat in an hour? Probably 30 chicken nuggets. Okay. How many chicken nuggets do you think you can eat in an hour? 60. Easily. I love a chicken nugget. I love a good chicken nugget. They have to be good and they got to be hot. It was Wendy's. Wendy's chicken nuggets. Oh, I can probably Wendy's eat Wendy's like is... I can, yeah, I can Wendy's probably eat like 50. Supreme. Wendy's is my go-to. I also get like the good frozen ones from Costco and like I get the big, I get the big bags. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um... Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you no. Put them in an air fryer? Or do you fry them? Oh, I sometimes I bake them. It kind of depends. My air fryer is very small, mm-hmm. so I can only put like if I'm stacking them on top of each other, I can only put like twenty in max without them burning. Mm-hmm. So I will usually just bake them a little bit above um, what you're supposed to, so they get extra crispy. Oh, and then okay. I make my own honey mustard for them. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, if it was Wendy's, I probably could eat like. 50 of them. I almost got 50 nuggets from Wendy's the other night. I'm not even going to lie. Mm. They have a 50 nugget. Like, you can just get 50 of them. I didn't know you could get them. It's like, it's like $17 or something. But I'm like, that honestly oh, is kind of worth it. But then I could also get the same, for the same price, I could get like 100 in one of the giant bags from Costco. So I'm like. Right. I mean, but if I don't feel like cooking them for myself. That part. The convenience. I'll pay for the. Convenience. I always love that the ten piece nugget from Wendy's is like six bucks. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yes, thank you. This yeah. is what I want in my life. Absolutely. That's my go to drunk food, and my go to stoned food. Let's be honest. Word. But anyway, um, we go back. We everyone brings back their their cases. Um, some people Alyssa and Jordan. To do it twice. <laughs> yes, some people decided to do it multiple times. Um, Alyssa and Jordan end up with 2.5 million. Yes. Um, Aaron and Dawson got 1.3 million. Yeah. And then Nick and Rob ended up with 3 million. Yes. So, of course, another week where Boston Rob has immunity. Yeah. Immunity. I mean, I was more excited just to see Nick shirtless. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I was like, this is a nice. This is nice. I'm not mad at this. I mean, Nick is nice. Speaking of Nick. Be sure to check out our um, podcast soon because we do have an interview coming up with Nick very shortly. So and and Amy, we the, we're getting all we're getting all the people for y'all. Don't worry, we're getting the deal and no deal girlies here. So per check it out. That will be it coming out very soon. So hit the notification bell if you haven't, so you won't miss it. Uh-huh. Um. Nick and Rob are discussing who should face the banker. And because now Rob wants to take out Alyssa, um, he decides that um, he wants Stephanie to go in. I mean, he didn't actually say he wanted to take out Alyssa. 
he was just like he knew if Stephanie won, she probably would take out Alyssa. He was hoping Stephanie lost. He didn't really want Alyssa to go, but it was like if she did go, he probably wouldn't be that upset because of the shenanigans and foolery that she tried to pull earlier that day. Yep. Yeah. So we go to the temple and uh, they decide that they're going to send Stephanie in. Mm -hmm. Um, She picks case number two. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't remember if she had a reason why. Um, She said that was her dad's birthday. Oh, uh, yes, 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 yes. That is true. Mm-hmm. Um, Her first round, she opened seven cases. She lost four high numbers right off the bat. Mm-hmm. And her offer, and spoiler, her only offer, is 251000 mm-hmm. Now, this is where <sighs> shit goes down. Mm-hmm. Because Stephanie is, you know... Asking the group for advice. Alyssa's telling Aaron not to help her. Mm-hmm. And then Joe being Joe. Mm-hmm. It's like, Alyssa, what do you think? And she goes, I'm not even paying attention right now. To which Stephanie said, we wouldn't listen anyway. And everything blows up. Just blown up. Stephanie's like, she's a snake and a liar. Talks about um, the whole plan to get Kim out. Um, Stephanie straight up asks Joe not to ask Alyssa anything else. I'm just like... I... Was gagging and living for this moment. I was just like, "Ooh, get her!" Both of them were just coming at each other. I was like, "Ooh, get her! Ooh, got her! Ooh, got her! Ooh, bam, bam, bam!" Oh my god! I was living because this was a moment that needed to happen between these two. Like they were tiptoeing and and you know going around each other and around each other, but this needed to come to this point. And when and when she uh, Joe asked to listen, and I was like, "You are messy," and she was like, "I'm not paying attention." I was like, "Oh, shoot, here we go." I wouldn't ask listen if it, if, it, if it she was. I don't care. And it was back and forth and back. Like you knew about the plan. I know nothing about the plan. Da, da, da. I was like, oh, kind of girl, you did kind of know, but you didn't want to go with the plan. Just be like, just because I knew about it, don't mean I respect it. That's what I would have. She also she also wasn't there when the plan was made. She was told about the plan. She was told about it afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and Alyssa later goes, I don't have any regrets. And Stephanie goes, Stakes regret nothing. Oh my God. So we find out that Stephanie takes the deal. She does take the deal. She opens her case. And it's and one it's penny. penny. It's a penny. That's <laughs> best case scenario. Best case scenario. Best I- case scenario. <laughs> And it was like, as soon as it saw Penny, Alyssa was like, well, see y'all later. And Joe was like, do I even need to ask Stephanie? She was like, no, no. you do not. No, you do not. Because you know exactly what I'm about to do. And she said that, and what, Alyssa would walk up. I was like, oh. bye, girl. Bye. Bye, girl. Bye, girl. I'm sorry. I just, I just, mm-mm. I, I was happy to see her go. I was happy to see her go. I'm sorry. That is one interview I probably don't really need to get because maybe she will not enjoy me talking to her. Right. The other thing that was kind of a gag is afterwards, they're all still talking about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Aaron storms off having a panic attack, um, threatening to quit. Now, here's what I'm going to say about this. As someone that does suffer from panic attacks, I do understand that the emotions of that moment, mm-hmm, if, mm-hmm. if I'm in Aaron's position, the emotions of that moment probably would also cause me to have a panic attack. Mm-hmm, so his mm-hmm. feelings are very valid mm-hmm. for him in that mm-hmm. scenario. With mm-hmm. that being said, boy, bye. 
This is the first time that something hasn't gone th- your way for you. And you're going to have a panic attack. I'm like, is someone going to tell him that she threw him under the bus? Like. Rob will probably tell him next. Be like, she wasn't. I hope so. I but hope here's, so. Here's my thing. I'm like, don't try to make Stephanie look like the bad guy because your friend went home and now you sad. When people, her friends had to go home and she had to stand there and just buck it up and suck it up and let them walk away. Like, it, it just, I didn't, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't, and, and like, it's part of the game. It just literally happened. And he's just, I don't know, Rob, don't say nothing, don't say nothing, don't say nothing. It, it, she's not here anymore to defend herself. Baby, it just happened two seconds ago. We still in the moment. Why are you saying we can't do this? You you had all of your thing to talk about when um when y'all took out Kim. So like for what reason? Like, anyway. why are we acting like we can't talk about what just happened in the game in the moment that we in? Because when we what else are we supposed to talk about it? Tomorrow? That'll be a little overkill because we didn't already slip it off and we should be done and over with. No, yeah. they're in that moment. And Amy just literally was like, I'm glad she said what she said. And they don't do that. She's not here. I'm like, get, get over it. But like, anybody's done, huh? Anybody's, she wasn't scared about nobody else when she was running around the, the island lying on people and, and doing, making up plans and doing stuff like that. This is the game. She got to suck, suck up everything. And you having a panic attack ain't going to change my feelings. I'm sorry. I hope you, you suck it up and get it together too, but it ain't going to change how I feel in this moment. Sorry you had the panic attack. I know what that's like, but also go ahead and quit. I don't care. Absolutely. I was like, boy, leave. Go on. If this is if you can't handle one thing not going your way in this game and you want to quit because your friend is leaving, bye. 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 Nobody, mm-mm. I, bye. I will happily put the palm over your face. Bye. Speaking oh, of, we didn't even. Hey, guess what? Uh, oh, we both did it. <laughs> We've had yeah. a thing the whole time. We didn't use it. Oh, well. Anyway. Let's talk about it. <laughs> that's this episode. So <laughs> uh, we'll be back very, very soon with, like we said, interviews with both Nick and Amy. Very, very excited for both of those. And we'll be back next week. Same time, same place, same us to talk all things Deal or No Deal Island episode eight. Very, very excited for all of that. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe. Because we've got a whole hell of a lot of Deal or No Deal Island content coming your way very, very soon. A bunch of special guests for the finale. Very excited for all of that. Uh, Make sure to subscribe, like, and share on the way out. Check out all of our channel links and our membership links down in the description below. While you're down there as well, you can follow us on our socials at The Cup Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. It's scrolling on your screen right now. Uh, What else is scrolling on your screen? Mine and Lana. On, on me and Lana on social media. You can follow us because we're great, lovely, wonderful, and fantastic. And you could go get your merch, including my unlimited two cup mug down below as well. So with all that being said, we're gonna get out of here. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.